Uh, hey YouTube, I just wanted to make a video about something that impressed me last month. So we're going to do a live demonstration. This is in the field of artificial intelligence. Something uh, impressed me recently, which is nice because I feel like uh, there's a lot of false hype, right? Basically, it's this uh, concept of reasoning, which before... You have stuff like ChatGPT right here, which instantly regurgitates a response, which is sort of, it's sort of like blending together what it learned during training. But if you ask it for something really niche, then it's probably going to spit out false information. So what we're working with here is something called Megazeus. It's an old game creation tool where you can make games kind of out of ASCII. Um, like, I don't know, here's a game, for example, made in it. Uh, let's see it better or something, right? So it's like you can make these tile-based kind of text character games with it. But it has its own programming language called Robotic. And somewhere in this giant help file is a list of all the commands and how they work. And now, if you asked ChatGPT to write code that actually works in this language, it's going to fail, and we're going to see that right here. So I attach the help document, and I'm like, can you write a Megazeus robot that will walk west until it hits a wall and then explodes? So robots in Megazeus are like the actors or objects that use code to do things, so you can program them. And because it's using a novel language robotic, which was not heavily trained on. Um, this free chat GPT result should spew out some nonsense that may look correct, but then fails in practice. So here we're gonna send it. Reading documents, okay. That was very quick. Okay, so it tried, and it gave four lines here, but this is not going to work. Uh, how do I know it's not going to work? Okay, so loop works. This is a label. Go to loop, that works. Walk west, that works. There's actually a command to walk west, where it will walk one tile every cycle, or like in-game frame. So that's all valid, but this is going to totally fail. Like, for if statements in Megazeus, it has to jump to a label like this. So, like, then explode should be, like, then, in quotes, explode, and then you'd have a label called explode, and then under that you would have to write explode, and then the number of how big the explosion is, basically. And then if touching any dir wall, that's, like, not valid syntax. So, I can show you this now. So let's go and actually try to implement ChatGPT's solution here, right? So here's Megazeus, okay? And we're just gonna do it. So I'm gonna make a wall. Here's a wall. We can even make it like purple or magenta. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna put our robot here. And uh, we don't have to name it. All right, so ChatGPT's solution was loop. That's a valid one. Walk west, that's valid. If touching any dirt wall, then explode. And you can see it's in that dark blue, which means there's a syntax error. And go to loop. And that go to loop didn't have quotes, and so this is also a syntax error. So if we try to exit out of this, it won't even allow me to exit because there are errors in the code, it doesn't work, right? Okay, so ChatGPT can't do it. And you could say this is like an intelligence test because I gave it the documentation, right? I gave it the help file. And uh, it couldn't do it, right? And now I want to show you a reasoning model. So here is Google Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental. So this 
does have reasoning. And last time I ran this, it actually gave a valid solution. Let's see if it can still do it. So same exact prompts, including the attached help file. Now watch this. So run. Now watch, it's thinking. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, okay. That was that was actually pretty quick. Last time I ran this, it took about one minute or maybe over one minute. All right, so I gave the label start, walk west. If blocked west, explode, jump to label explode, explode, explode 10, die, go to start. Yes, this code works. This absolutely works. Uh, there's a few critiques about the code. Now, the chat GPT solution had, oh, it had go to loop without quotes, I see. What did this one have? Yeah, see, this one put the quotes around start. So this should all work. So we're going to actually implement this right now. All right. So here we are. Back in the robotic editor from Megazeus, right? Start. I'm going to type it exactly as it was displayed. So start. And then it, you know, it properly placed the quotes around it. But the way they wrote it there is exactly how I'm going to type it. So walk west, it put. That's a valid command. If blocked west, then jump to label explode. That is valid syntax. Then go to start. That is valid syntax. This is a loop. It's going to loop this a lot. And I can critique this code and say that um, it doesn't need to in instantly jump back to start. It could put wait one in here because it only needs to check this once per frame. So because it is not putting a wait statement in here, that means it's going to be spending more computation than it needs to to solve the task. So technically there are further optimizations that the AI missed here. Then, it put, then they put explode like this. This is gonna work because if block west means the, the walk command is gonna move it west once each tile and then it's gonna reach that, reach that wall that I placed down and then this command will trigger and it will jump to label explode then explode 10 was what it had and then die okay uh so this is all valid and then finally this die command at the end this is unnecessary because explode will make the robot not exist anymore it will transform the robot into an explosion and the robot will not be in existence so this die command is it's not necessary all right, so that's the code. Here's our robot. Let's change the robot's color to yellow or something, just for fun. And now I will run it, okay? So we're gonna run it now. Uh, what happens? Oh, shoot. You know what? I did this on the title screen. Oh, wait, there we go. It works. It works. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I don't know what happened that first time. That was strange. All right, so you see it goes west, hits the wall, and explodes, right? So this is actually really impressive, I think, because, like, this document and understanding this document is, like, not of very much importance to the AI pre-training, but because I have attached the document to the prompt, and it spent a bit of extra time actually reading the document and actually coming to a valid understanding. Now think of how many different small little programs it could have spit out. Like there are countless responses it could have given and only a very few amount of uh, correct responses, right? There's not that many ways to write this, but there's like an infinite number of ways to write it incorrectly so that it would not work. But it did work when I entered it into Megazeus, right? So this is definitely what I would consider to be a breakthrough. It's a good sign. Um, yeah, it... Uh, 
it successfully completed the task.